Marlene Hutchinson, and welcome to Tips for Guitar Playing Success. As many of you know, I've been sharing my guitar playing tips every Thursday for more than eight years. It's been my way to hopefully help you stay motivated, be inspired, and continue expanding your guitar playing journey. If you're interested in more learning resources like my Thursday Tips blog, my DVDs, books, virtual learning, and more, go to my website, marlenesmusic.com. And for anyone who's listening and feels like you're missing out on all the fun, you can easily join our wonderful world of guitar with my Learn to Play Guitar in a Day program, which you can also find at marlenesmusic.com. Now on to today's tip. Today's tip is three patriotic songs for the 4th of July. This Sunday will be the 4th of July. Woohoo! Typically, it's a day filled with gatherings of family and friends, barbecuing, and fireworks. Why not add some of your guitar music into the mix? Here are three patriotic themed songs I thought you might like to try. The first one is called America the Beautiful by Catherine Lee Bates and Samuel A. Ward. Catherine Bates wrote the words as a poem originally called Pike's Peak. Samuel Ward later composed the music for this song. It was first published on the 4th of July in 1895. As the story goes, while traveling to Colorado Springs, Colorado to teach English at the Colorado College, Catherine saw several sites on her trip that inspired her poem. And it was on the pinnacle of Pikes Peak while she was looking out at the Colorado and Kansas Plains that the words came to her. On a personal note, I have traveled to the top of Pikes Peak and at an elevation of 14,115 feet, the views are nothing short of spectacular. It feels like you can see out across the entire country, so it's no wonder she was motivated to write the poem. This song has been performed by Bing Crosby, Frank Sinatra, Ray Charles, Charlie Rich, and there's an all-star version including more than 15 popular country artists that was released in 2001. It's been featured in the opening ceremonies of the 2014 Winter Olympics and the 2016 Summer Olympics. This song is played with the chords G, D, D7, A, A7, and C. The rhythm can be played a few different ways. You might like to keep it simple with a basic strum or perhaps choose a picking pattern. Of course, you can play around with the rhythm and make it your own style. The link for this song is on my Thursday Tips blog at marlenesmusic.com. The next song I thought you might enjoy is called You're a Grand Old Flag by George M. Cohan. It's a lively song in tribute to the U.S. flag and was published in 1906. The song inspiration came from an encounter George Cohen had with a Civil War veteran who had fought at Gettysburg. The man was proudly carrying a ragged old flag, and he commented to George that she's a grand old rag. The comment inspired the title, You're a Grand Old Flag. It was first performed at the Herald Square Theater in New York City and is often included in patriotic ceremonies such as those performed by military bands, marching bands, schools, and naturally at 4th of July celebrations. To play this song, you'll use the D, G, A, and D7 chords, and I recommend a lively strum or picking pattern. The link for this song is also on my Thursday Tips blog at marlenesmusic.com. Showbreak, join the club!
Become a podcast member today and start receiving member-only updates and emails, guitar news, and upcoming episode and interview info. You can join today at the Join the Club link in the show notes, or you can find the link on my website at marlenesmusic.com. Back to the podcast. The third song I thought you'd enjoy is a really upbeat song called Living in America, and it's performed by James Brown. It was written by Dan Hartman and Charlie Midnight. It was released in 1985 and reached number four on the Billboard charts. It was nominated for a Grammy for Best R&B Song and... James Brown won a Grammy for Best Male R&B Vocal Performance. Living in America was featured in the Rocky IV movie and soundtrack. The recorded version of this song features Stevie Ray Vaughan on guitar. It's a super upbeat song, so I recommend a fast strum. But you can also slow the tempo. It's your call. The chords are... D9, G7, A7, F, C, B flat, and B. The link for this song is also in my Thursday Tips blog on my website. And as a quick reminder, if there are any chords that are not familiar to you in this song or the other two songs, don't fret, haha. There are chord charts at the top of each song's page. Alrighty, now you're ready to let freedom ring from your guitar strings. I hope this episode's tip has helped you to continue expanding your guitar skills and knowledge. If you'd like to learn more, check out the many learning resources available at my website, marlenesmusic.com. Thank you for joining today's podcast. And as I like to say, play on. <laughs>